Sunday, May 14th. Happy Mother's Day to all the uh, all the appropriate people out there and to Mother Nature as well. Um, <clears throat> it's about 9 o'clock. I'm sitting here at Bailey's Gap Shelter, just getting ready to head out for the day. Uh, it rained last night again. So I'm carrying some extra weight on my tarp with the water weight from, from that. Hopefully the sun's going to come out today. Yesterday, I was going to try and make a video last night. <laughs> I just couldn't. It's too tired. It's too late. Uh, yesterday was probably one of the hardest days on the trail for me. Yeah, it was about 15 miles. It wasn't the distance. It was just the, uh, the ridge walk to begin with it was endless. Up and down, rocks, good trail, rocks. Uh, it was just a long march across the ridge, up and down, up and down. And then um, coming down, it took forever to get to the Pine Swamp Branch Shelter. When I, when I did finally get there, uh, I could hear voices and it was, uh, uh, I could hear Pinto again. <laughs> I got with Pinto once again and chatted with her. She had an interesting day. Uh, Ended up seeing, uh, visiting with some local folks and getting taken on a little tour of the area and and saw Mountain Lodge, I think, uh, which is like three miles off the trail, which is where Dirty Dancing was filmed. And uh, she said it looks great. The, the lake has been dry for a couple of years, but uh, otherwise the, the lodge itself looks fantastic. Um, uh, brought back memories of, of that movie. Uh, there was another couple there. Uh, Foxtrot and Rambo and Rambo is a portrait photographer has his own business took a couple of portraits of me uh, standing there in the shelter he's going to send them to me they're really good so I uh, had my hat on like this so that, uh, you could see my face and, uh, but he <laughs> we had a we had a great chat I probably spent an hour there probably too long but I spent an hour there and it was worth it uh, just to get acquainted with uh, those two uh one of them's from New Jersey, or from uh, New York, one's from Connecticut. I think, I think Rambo's from Connecticut and Foxtrot was from New York. Foxtrot's the female, Rambo's the guy. And he looked, he looked like Sylvester Stallone uh, in Rambo. I had the headband and um, the same facial features. It was, it was strikingly similar. A uh, very handsome young man. Uh, and so um, it was, and they had expressed the same thing, how how mentally challenging the day was uh, with the long ridge walk that we did. And then coming down, they had camped, Foxtrot and uh, uh, Rambo had camped at the rice field shelter. Uh, they tented right next to that. Uh, Pinto had actually slept in the in the shelter there the night before. And she was going to spend today with her grandma. Uh, so her grandmother from Manassas was going to pick her up and and spend the day with her today. So she'll, she'll be off trail today. Um, but it was... It was a lift to the spirit to know that others had suffered the same kind of challenge, physically and mentally both. Um, and then after that, I decided to come up to Bailey's Gap Shelter, which was another uh, nearly four miles, not quite, but oh my gosh, what a climb, what a climb, long, endless. My shirt was dripping literally dripping wet. This morning I had it hanging on my, my green shirt, had it hanging on my ridge line, and water was still dripping off of the cuff of the shirt. And I, I rang it out too, I had ringed it out last night, uh, but it was st still, I'm not wearing it today. It's, it's gonna have to dry before I can put it back on again, otherwise I'll probably get sick. Uh, it was just literally drenched with sweat uh, from yesterday, from that last climb. Um, and I ended up getting in late. You know, it wasn't dark, but I walked down and got the water first and because it was a, not a well-marked trail and hasn't been maintained, but a good water source, but uh, it would have been tough to find in the dark. Ate late last night, just took my time. I took my time getting up this morning, had some oatmeal, wanted something warm, had some hot cider uh, as well. The, the other two guys, uh, Pizza Hands and Zoom, Zoom left like 6.30 this morning or 6.15. He was out early. Uh, maybe that's why I call him Zoom. I don't know. Pizza Hands left about an hour ago. And we'll, we'll see him again on the trail, I'm sure. 
Uh, but anyway, yesterday was a really tough day. It was tough. Um, toughest one I've had mentally. And so I'm looking forward to a little better day today. The, the sun looks like it's going to come out uh, eventually. Uh, it was really foggy and still dripping this morning a little bit when I woke up. So I just laid in my hammock and uh, thought, well, you know, I'm not going to be in a rush. Take my time uh, and then just get my head wrapped around the day. My right ankle is hurting a little bit, but that'll go away after it gets moving a little bit. So, all right, it's probably time to get going. Um, but I want to report on yesterday. Today will be a better day, I'm sure. This patriarch pushing on and uh, wishing you all a great day. Again, a happy Mother's Day to all. Talk to you later. a couple of other thoughts before I forget them. Uh, one of the things that was particularly discouraging yesterday was uh, I broke one of my trekking poles. Uh, slipped on a rock. We're starting to slip anyway and my trekking pole is down. But it was between a couple of other rocks and in the process of supporting me and preventing the fall, I heard a snap. And sure enough, the bottom section of my trekking pole in my right hand had cracked uh, didn't break totally off I was able to uh, slide that section or that break into the next one into the middle section of the trekking pole and then lengthen that one so that it's uh, still about the same height but it's really short on the bottom I need to see if I can get a replacement uh, section for that pole or if I have to replace the pole I'm not sure what's going to happen but that was kind of discouraging, um, but it's still working. Um, it's uh, 61 degrees this morning. I was going to let you know that, but also today is the first day that I've actually had to use my insect repellent. The bugs are starting to get a little more uh, prevalent and aggressive. I still am not using a bug net on the hammock. Uh, it's probably in the not too distant future though. So that, that will be coming up. and. The other thing is that, man, for some reason today, my legs are just super tired. I don't know. I think it's from yesterday. Uh, just not a lot of energy in the legs. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned it uh, in the video or not before that I just did. Uh, um, that uh, Rambo, the guy that Rambo and Foxtrot that I'd met at the, the uh, Pine Swamp Branch shelter, I was a professional photographer. And he took a portrait of me standing in the uh, in the shelter. And it was a really cool shot. Um, I gave him my email address. He'll send it to me when he gets a chance. But uh, anyway, that was we had a great chat. Uh, talked at length about coaching and plants and their their foragers. They eat stuff along the trail and uh, kind of what they they've been doing. She's an event planner for uh, nonprofit arts places and. It was just a fun conversation with the two of them, young young couple. So anyway, wanted to share those thoughts before I forgot them. Keep moving on slowly down the trail with these tired legs. All right, enjoy the day. Mm -hmm.